Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Me Makeup. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to walk you through how I created this super easy, really soft, sultry glam. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. So recently I've been loving starting with my brows and I'm trying a fairly new product for me. It's the Precisely My Brow Pencil uh, by Benefit. And this is in the shade 3.5. I think the reason why I enjoy doing this first more recently is because when you go in with concealer first even though it's so much easier to sort of see your shape I feel like whenever you want to draw somewhere that you've already got concealer it doesn't allow you to like the pencil doesn't it stick and it's really annoying as I get up to sort of the top line I like to just do it right nice and soft on the outer corner just to fill out that tail and then I'll just sort of go from the middle of the brow upwards. So I'm just going to use this Peggy Sage Beige Halle Concealer just underneath the brow. And I'm just sharpening up the brow with my MAC 252. So the first product that I'm going to use on the eyes is the MAC Dark Tan Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm going to buff it in with an M514 Morphe brush and I'm just going to use really light motions because I'm going to, again I want this to be really sultry and just like effortless. I've just started to watch Bridgerton. Now I am not a periodic drama fan to be honest with you but I'm watching Bridgerton and I know I'm well late on the trend here but is it just me or all the soundtracks like modern songs but just like acoustic versions of them but having said that I do like the style of it I like that it's I don't know I just think it's like quite modernized but in that era which is quite cool I'm gonna go in using this J Cat Beauty Extreme Access Pocket Eyeshadow. I like that name. And I'm using this sort of medium brown tone. And this is the Spectrum B11 brush. So I'm just going to take this sort of along the lash line in the outer third, in that little socket there at the outer corner, and then halfway into that C shape. I'm also tapering it out like we did with the first shade, but I'm obviously not going to go as far so we get that sort of like blown out look. So I'm just grabbing this Jordana t-shirt base and sparkle in the shade Stargazer and I'm going to start with the cream shade. This is a MAC 242. Really lightly pat this on. Obviously it is a cream shade so you don't want to go too heavy handed with this sort of product because it will crease if you add too much. And then for the main event Unscrew it and you've got the loose sparkle and then I work in really small areas and just like skim the skin a mouthful so for lashes I'm using lily lashes in the shade light mink these are my type of lashes so I like them really wispy and fine but I do like length on mine and these are the first time I'm actually using lily lashes I'm gonna start by using my fingers and just push it where I want it from the out, outer corner first and then using my tweezers just grab the inside. I'm a fan, I wasn't actually sure at first but without further ado I'm going to go on to my skin. So I'm going to start by buffing in the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, this is in the shade 4 and when I first started using this product I swear I would like bask my face in it and I've realised now that that is not what it's for. So I'm just buffing it in with a fluffy Lorac Pro LP01 brush. And it does actually give you that little bit of coverage as well, which is what I like. But obviously we're going to go in with more. And then for skin, I'm trying out the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. This is in the shade Sand. Now, this is definitely 
more spreadable than the foundations that I usually like, like um, the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation, which probably means that it's slightly less coverage. To just stick with the theme, I've gone in with the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced as well, and this is in the shade Porcelain. So I'm going to go down the sides of my nose to reverse contour right up into the inner corner where we get the most darkness. I'm going to go back in with my Beauty Blender. Wow, okay, this is full coverage. Probably could have used slightly less than that, but anyway. And then I'm going to leave my nose contour a second. I'm going to go in with my cream contour first. So I'm just going to use the Chanel bronzer. I'm going to use my E63 brush from Morphe. And then I'm just going to use this Plush Brush 110 and take it down the bridge of my nose as well. So I'm going to come at you with a little iconic duo. So I've got the Illuminator in blush and the Sheer Blush in Power Pink. And I love these products. I'm going to go in with the blush first. If I just show you. Now, this looks super bright, but it literally just sort of blends in really nicely and really tones down as well. So once I've blended that in with my fingers, I'm just using the shade Blush from the iconic Illuminator. And I'm just going to start with my fingers here as well. How pretty is that combination? It's giving me ultimate spring vibes that I just can't wait for. So I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder, making sure I've got no creases under my, my eyes, which I do right now. So I like to powder in this region here because my face is quite full here. So anything that comes really out from the surface that's round and shines is going to look, make me look really sweaty and greasy. Can you see the difference? So I've still got all that glow, but I haven't got it in this region and that's what makes me look oily. So I'm going to go back in with the MAC bronzer that I started with and the Spectrum A508 brush and just pretty much set where I used that Chanel bronzer. And then for blusher, I know I've got billions of blushes that I could choose from, but I just want to switch it up every now and again. So I'm using the Lorac Pro Bakery Box palette. I'm going to go in with Pavlova, which is this shade just here at the top. And then once that is done, will there ever be a time that I don't use Becca Champagne Pop? Probably not. I'm going in with this Morphe brush and I'm just accentuating where that highlighter was already popping through. Guys and girls, Oh, honestly, wake me up when you found as good or better highlighter. I'd actually love to know what your faves are in the comments section. I'm always up for looking for a competitor and I can't decide whether to leave the lower lash line just really naked with some mascara. Let's have a little look and see if I like it. Yeah, I do. This is a first for me. I usually always put a little bit of something, whether it's bronzer. Okay, so moving on to lips, I'm using this Peggy Sage lip liner in the shade Bonville. Over the top of that, I'm gonna use this Peggy Sage they never have the names on them. I think this is Nude Matte. I 
and then that is the iconic london out of office lip luster oil these are so so nice and then to finish i'm just going to use this dewy setting spray from anastasia beverly hills i live for this packaging how gorgeous is that so guys this is the final look thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye